I'm gonna show you how to create a zoom out transition in Premiere Pro, just like this. Here inside Premiere Pro, I have my two clips down on the timeline, and the first thing I'm gonna do is go over here to new item, and then create an adjustment layer. Just press okay. And then I'm gonna go to the middle point in between my first and second clip, and I'm gonna go backwards three frames. And then I'm just gonna click and drag that adjustment layer up against the playhead. Then I'm gonna zoom this in a little bit, and I'm just going to drag the other end of this adjustment layer to the very end of that first clip. Then what I'm gonna do is go ahead and duplicate this adjustment layer. So I'm just gonna click on it, hold down Alt or Option on the keyboard, and drag this up to video layer number three. And then I'm gonna go for seven frames. And then I'm just gonna click and drag that second adjustment layer up against the playhead. Next, I'm gonna go over here to the double arrows and go down to effects and type in replicate. And then click and drag replicate onto that first adjustment layer. Then I'm gonna make sure I have that first adjustment layer selected and go up here to effect controls. And down here under replicate, I'm gonna change the count to three. Now you can see when I bring the playhead over that it just replicated the video nine different times. And this is just going to be a base for the transition. That way it looks a little bit more seamless. Next, I'm just gonna go back over here under effects and I'm gonna type in mirror. And I'm gonna click and drag mirror onto that first adjustment layer, but I wanna drag this effect on four times. Next, I'm gonna go back up to effect controls and then scroll down to the mirror effects that I just added. And for the first one, I'm just gonna change the reflection angle to 90. And then what I wanna do is get rid of these harsh lines. So what I'm gonna do is just play around with this until I have it in a spot to where I no longer see that harsh line. For the second mirror effect, I'm gonna change the reflection angle to negative 90. And then I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna move this until I get rid of that harsh line. For the third mirror effect, I'm gonna change this to 180. Then I'm just gonna bring this back over. And for this last mirror effect, I'm gonna leave the reflection angle at zero and I'm just gonna move this over. So that's gonna smooth out the edges. And next, I just need to go back over to effects and type in transform and then click and drag transform onto the second adjustment layer. Then with the second adjustment layer selected, I'm gonna go down here to the transform effect and I'm gonna bring the playhead to the very beginning of that second adjustment layer. And over here, I'm gonna click on the stopwatch for scale and I'm gonna change this to 300. Then I'm just gonna go forward a few frames and then change this to 100 and that's gonna create a second keyframe. Now what I wanna do is drag the second keyframe to the very end of that second adjustment layer. And then I'm going to right click on the first keyframe that I made and I'm gonna select ease out. And then for the second keyframe, I'm gonna right click and select ease in. Now what I wanna do is zoom in on the timeline just a little bit and I'm gonna add one extra frame because I can't make adjustments to the second keyframe if I don't. Highlight both of these keyframes and I'm gonna drop down this little drop down tab here next to scale. And I'm gonna scroll down just a little bit and now I can really fine tune this animation. So what I wanna do is drag my playhead to the center point between the first and second clip, and I wanna leave it there. And next, I'm going to click and drag these little anchors until I create this little valley, and I want the center of the valley to be right there at the center of my playhead. Then I'm gonna scroll down here, and I'm going to uncheck Use Composition Shutter Angle, and I'm gonna change the shutter angle to 360, and that's gonna give me some really nice looking motion blur. Then I'm just gonna go forward four frames, and I'm gonna get rid of that extra frame that we added to the adjustment layer. Now, if you're getting this weird looking border in your transition, a way to fix this is click on that second keyframe and then just drag this little anchor down just a little bit and then play it back and that should get rid of it completely. Now you know how I create the zoom out transition in Premiere Pro. And if you wanna learn more Premiere Pro transitions, check out this video right here. And if you're looking to improve your skills as a video editor, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you in the next video.